Wow, how are we doing that? Um, I have a we have a team, four of us. Um, Tamara, myself, and Emma, and we are expert advisors. Um, and we each have different expertise to program across all disciplines. We also have, um, and this was Tamara's idea, so she may want to talk more about it, but we also have our open call where we gave, in fact, the building and the equity of the building to 26. Who are you talking yeah. about? It? So it was interesting. I think one of the um, first couple of weeks I was at the shed, jokingly, I was like, Alex, are we the only ones that are in a program? And he was like, no. And so with Open Call, it really was a response to, we have this amazing expertise that's on staff, but how do we, you know, we're on city owned land, how do we belong to all of New York? Um, and we put together a really amazing panel of artists, producers, curators, people from institutions large and small, five borough pro approach, artist collectives to really help us think through um, this Open Call program who should be involved, how do we do really grassroots art reach, and ultimately they were the ones that um, were on the panel for selection. If we had maybe seven or eight people per panel, we never had more than two shed voices. And, and, and if there was a, a casting vote, they cast it. Yeah. We're not deciding who yeah. The reason I ask this is because four blocks away from you, Robert Williams actually runs the biggest theater festival in New York. And this year, when I was looking at what was winning the best or nominated for the best shows, I was stunned at what was available. Uh, they were amazing. Um, there was a, the movement, called the movement, there was a show called The Movement from Leap that was one of the most spectacular acapella, acapella musicals based on the civil rights that was the best wow. thing I've ever seen. And I was like, oh my God, people need to see this. So will you be sending people out to festivals like this? We to commission get where you are. So we start with an artist in the blank page, develop from nothing. Even new artists? I'm sorry? Even emerging artists? Yeah, we've been saying that warning. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you look at the program, a third of it's emerging artists. That's Absolutely. Yeah, the top totally of the is an amazing hip hop artist. Commissioning her at the scale. She's going to be in this space when it's on um, during Bjork run. Uh, and it's amazing. And so we're commissioning her to create a work with even more emerging artists with students. So some of the students that are in our Disobey program after school are co creating that um, power play, um, his or hip hop musical. Yeah, I have two questions. One, uh... 18 commissions a year, one eight. So, um, which is in the world of commissioning a huge number. Um, but if you look at an art center, which we are only part art center, you know, somewhere like um, Barbican, say, we do two or three hundred shows a year. We do 18. Um, and what our real priority is, is to create a program that its collective is across all art forms and it is serving as wide a range of audience. So we, that is our mission, our primary mission. Um, how we get there, is by uh, with, with the four of us, also with our open call panel, we find key artists who can help us make that work. Last week, it might have been the week before, from Gail Brewer, who is the Manhattan Borough President. She had just happened to be at a meeting of residents of some NYCHA public housing uh, in northern Manhattan. Um, where Tamara was presenting um, to this group of residents about the shed. She said in her entire time in politics, she had never actually been at a meeting of NYCHA housing residents where a well-established, you know, well-funded cultural institution actually bothered to show up. And so if you're going to live these values, if you truly believe in inclusivity, the obligation is on us, not just to try and put programming on that's going to attract people, but to let people know that not only are they welcome, but they're going to play an important part in helping us define who we are. And that is an ethos that exists from the board, through Alex and Tamara, to the entire staff, 
um, is enshrined in the value statement that we actually have about the shed and is something we are completely committed to. 